So now we're going to talk about projections and you can see here that Texas doesn't look very nice compared to other maps and if you look on uh, Google for example and we look at Texas maps you can see like Texas has a nicer shape here than what we have going on in ours. Um, and they switched over to, yeah. And if you see ours, it looks a little squished. And the reason why that's happening is because we don't have our our projection um, right now. This is unprojected, just longitude latitude. And the way that we're going to fix that is by going into the layer properties or data frame properties. Um, you can see here if you right click on the word layers, that's the data frame that we're currently working in. If you go to properties here, and then you click on the uh, coordinate system tab. You can see right now our current coordinate system is uh, NAD 83, uh, so North American data 1983. If we look right here under uh, predefined, you can find other projected coordinate systems. Geographic coordinate systems are going to be the longitude latitudes that are going to look flat like this. What we want is to do projected coordinate system. So we choose projected coordinate system. We can look here at state systems, for example, and under state systems, there's a nice one for Texas. Um, that I can choose here. You see, here's Texas centric mapping system, Albers. Um, and if I hit apply now, you can see that the state of Texas looks a lot different as soon as I do that. And this is a better looking uh, projection. Um, it preserves area a lot better than the other one. Um, if you go, if you're not doing uh, statewide, you're doing more uh, county level. You might want to think about using. Uh, uh, state plane systems and you can see here state plane if you drop this down and you look here uh, state plane you can choose uh, any one of these NAT 83 but once you get into there you can see that there's all these different state plane systems and if you're for example if you're using Texas you can go down here and choose either central or north central depending on where your zone is um, again a quick uh, Google search will show it will help you determine what state plane system you are in Texas state plane coordinate system and if you look here um, let's just try the first link uh, you can get an idea uh, what number that you should use and this is usually pretty good for the county level so you see here like north zone for example you would use that for Dallas so then you would choose 4201 here so if you look here in that 83 state plane if you just scroll over you can see 4202 4203 so forth so that's what you would do for that um, once you get a good coordinate system, like now we're using the Texas Centric mapping for statewide, your map will look a lot better. So do that and that will fix a lot of the projection issues that are happening on, on look.